great. Please look at this. How are you? You had a great, uh, great day uh, of rehearsal. I saw yeah. that on one of the monitors. Yeah, it was really fun. You looked relaxed. Yeah. Did, felt you, great. did you feel relaxed? Yeah, I felt great. Switzerland was the first country, as we all know, uh, hosting the Eurovision, 1956. And since then, Switzerland never won. Is this oh, true? No, that's no, right. The old. Testing here, but is this a blessing <laughs> oh, or a curse for you? Well, I mean, 1988, Cynthia, going for Switzerland. See, they're not saying. And uh, yeah, we were both um, Canadians and Swiss, so I mean, I mean that was a, that's a connection. That's an amazing. But except for that, um, the silly that I was tricking you here a bit, um, you didn't have so many wins. I mean, you didn't have that great success. Is that a blessing or a curse for you as you step out on, on, on stage? Is it is it more of a, more of a boost that you might be able to bring it back to Switzerland again? The victory. Well, for me, I, I'm always living. I'm trying to live in the moment. So, sure. <laughs> Speaking of moments, uh, not so long ago you sort of reinvented yourself, changed your name, and then and reinvented yourself. So now, what would you say is your strongest character as as an artist after this change? What is your strongest character as an artist? Um, I think uh, I'm, I'm real crazy artist person, so like my passion would probably be the strongest part of me. <laughs> and where does the passion come from? I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely in there, and it's good, it's good when it comes out. <laughs> so what do you sing in your song? How does that feel inside of you? It feels amazing, especially just on stage. It was, it's so, I was so emotional <laughs> between the, between the, the rehearsals. Uh, I just had to look and just feel everything, and I was like, <laughs> it was really amazing. Well, let's open up for questions. Gentlemen in the back here, please. <laughs> Microphone coming. Hey Rika, it's from easytoday.com. You went to the Swiss national selection from the online platform. You were competing with uh, hundreds of other entries. Can you tell us how did you come to the decision to send in your song there and how was it to participate and, and qualify among all these other participants? Well, my, my previous record was more like alternative rock and I made you know, a pop record. And it's, it's totally pop, and I, it just felt like the natural way to go. It just really felt like the right thing to do. And the whole national final was really amazing. It had such a great feeling, such a great energy backstage, and a lot of nice people everywhere, so it was really nice. Thank you. Another question? Over here, please. To the side. Here we go. Hi, Alistair Birch from SBS Radio in Australia. Um, I read somewhere you're quite active, or you've been active in the Swiss Society of Vancouver. Yeah. Um, we, we have Swiss societies as well in Australia. And I just wanted to ask you generally, how um, important is it for you to retain the link to the old country, and how has it helped you? Um, it's really important. I mean, my, my family, we, we grew up, I grew, I grew up in, in the Swiss Society, and it, it was a really special community. It is a really special community for me. My, I mean, we've done, I, I have so many memories of growing up there, playing in the, in the yard and, and being there for all of the August 1st, the Swiss National Day and everything, so it's, it's really deep inside me, it's really, yeah, really special for me. Thank you. Another question up front. In addition, hi, sorry, uh, Martin van der Veen, uh, Eurovision Artist the Netherlands. Uh, in addition to uh, Alice's question, you also seem to have a connection with the Netherlands, and especially with yeah. Bodefraven. Can yeah. you tell me about it? What a fun yeah, okay. my, uh, my grandfather, um, my mom's dad comes from Bodefraven, and my mom's mom is from Vorden. Vo Vorden, and it's an amazing story. My, my grandfather, he always would um, bike to see my grandmother, and it's 
it's like an hour bike ride, but it's so it's so amazing when I'm in that area and I take the train, because it's the same train that goes to both, so I can like look and imagine how my grandfather was biking to my grandmother. <laughs> so it's magic. <laughs> yeah. It's like a pilgrimage. <laughs> what questions, please? Okay, I'd like to ask you, I ask this to all the, the artists. This year's theme come together? What does it mean to you? Oh, I can, I can totally feel it. Because just with all the pre-parties already, I've met so many of the other candidates, and, and it's been so amazing just getting to know everyone. I feel, it feels like a family. It is a family. Yeah. Right? It is a family. <laughs> Madam the check shirt, please. Okay. Uh, I pass the Angus of Form Vision Magazine from the UK. I really like the style of your song, especially with smoke coming out of your beginning. Does that indicate that you're smoking hot? Absolutely. <laughs> smoking hot. <laughs> Absolutely. And also, uh, notice you um, perform barefoot. Now, uh, that could be a good omen because there have been five previous English winners performing barefoot, four from this century. So it might be good learning for you. Thanks. Great. Yeah. I mean, it just feels it feels so nice to, to feel the ground, and also I'm really clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> so no blue <laughs> high heels on stage. No heels on stage. No heels on stage. <laughs> so so tell us about, a bit more about your outfit on stage. Um, it was designed by Lynn Lingerie. They're based in Zurich, in Swiss, and um, we had such an amazing time working together to design it. They're they're so there's they're so um, they're really great friends now. And uh, yeah I, it's it's been an, it was a journey um, having it all come together. But now I am I'm so happy and it just looks I, I really love the way the skirt looks with the, the lighting so I'm really happy. It must be so important to feel comfortable in your clothes on stage. Yeah. Yeah, to be able to, to feel free and be able to move, huh? Yeah. And to breathe. Yeah. Yeah, that's Absolutely. kind of what you say, right? It's important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. More questions? Alistair, please. Hi, another question. Um, can you tell us who is Paula Kramer and how has she uh, influenced your sound? Um, I was in music school for three years and Paula Kramer was was my my vocal coach and she she's amazing she she did I can't even start it's that's really why when I started singing for real because <laughs> when I first started working with Paula and um, yeah it was so amazing really 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 the middle here again please I say it's from Vision Magazine UK again. Um, you mentioned earlier that you reinvented yourself with your musical genre. I mean, how important was that for you? And was it difficult? I mean, I guess, like many magicians, to sustain a career, you have to move on constantly. So, did you find it difficult? I think you were more of a folk singer before, and then you moved into the pop genre. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like I keep evolving. Like, I, I started singing jazz, um, then I went to folk, then it was rock, and then it was pop, and I, I just keep, I keep moving and keep evolving, I kind of, I don't know, maybe it's not always amazing, but for me it's just the way it is, and it's great. But you know, to keep evolving, that's, that's a good, that's a good quote to put to the by. About your memories of Eurovision, I mean, you're quite young. Uh, do you, do you, what have you been watching? I mean, I'm thinking about Celine's win in 1988. Do you, do you have any special fond memories for Eurovision yourself? Well, um, I grew up in Canada, so I, I didn't know it for so long. And it's just been for the past couple of years. But have you been sort of it. looking at past performances? Yeah, Checking yeah. Checking out the ones Celine won with? Of course. Of course. And, um, but the, the first time I think that I saw it was um, and with our family, my husband and and I and his dad, and um, we were watching it after after dinner at his house. So it was like a really like family moment that we were watching it. 
it's amazing. Now, do you, do you, can you think about all the people watching you? That will be watching you on stage? I mean, 170, maybe yeah, it's going to be more now being broadcast in the United States. Do you like to think about that, or does that just give you the EBG base to think about it? I thought that I was going to think about it, but now just in rehearsal, I didn't. So, I guess, I guess not. <laughs> what if like, I want to think about it? What if it works? Yeah, no, I think I'll just, I think I probably will just think about me in the moment. Because <laughs> I know some artists, they, they like to sing to somebody special in, yeah, yeah. in the audience or in front of a television somewhere on the other side of the world. Yeah. Do you sing to somebody special when you're up there? I feel like I just have so much of this, like, this crazy passion inside of me that any time to get it out, it's. It's, 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 just it's, be not, like, always, it's not geared towards somebody special. I think just in, in general. Just for me, it's just like up. everywhere. <laughs> so, <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> More questions? All right. Then I'd like to ask you about your, your what you think about uh, your experience here so far in Stockholm. Have you been able to see anything? Um, not so much yet. Um, but uh, we, when we drove from the airport to the hotel, it was really, looked really Have nice. Have you been here before? Really nice. <laughs> no, I haven't. It's my first time. It's, good, first time. Actually, it's a good time of the year to be in Stockholm. It could be, I mean, there are worse months to be in Sweden, to be <laughs> Swedish, so. <laughs> so, uh, well, any sites you might want to be able to find time to see? I hear the so, old town is really beautiful. The old town is great, yeah. Yeah, and, I mean, yeah. Maybe I go for a main trip. Boat Pardon? trip, maybe? Boat, boat trip, trip, yeah. Boat trip. Yeah. That'd be great. And you'll be walking the red carpet on Sunday. Yes. And what will you be wearing? Um, I'll be wearing a piece from Berenik. It's another um, designer from Zurich. And also a piece that I made. A piece you made? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So tell us about that. Um, it's made out of emergency blanket. Oh, cool. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're wearing a piece made out of blankets on the red carpet. Emergency blanket. Yeah, emergency blankets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see that. Oh, that's excellent. So, any more questions before we, we uh, head on into more photos? All right. Well, thank you so much. It was thank great you. having you here. And the uh, head of press is over here to take uh, questions for interviews. And we have photos over here. And the next meeting week is Israel at 10 after 2. Thank you.